Hey YouTubers, it's MT Racing here, just with another video of a walk around of uh, another Honda S2000 that I've got. Um, this one's my friend's one, he's let me borrow it, just so I can do a nice video and a review of them. So once again, this is a 2000 model AP1, it's got the front lip on it, got the red badge. Same as the Type R's. These are the water jets to clean the headlights. Because, you know, in Japan, it gets a bit foggy out there. Got some 18 inch Buddy Club P1s with some slotted and drilled rotors. It's a magnificent color in red, this one. Come around to the side. It's the interior. This one's got about 200,000 on it, but it's in really good condition. The seats do tear up a bit as standard, um, only because they're leather, you know, and over time. Still got the original floor mats, really good condition. It's got the AP2 CD player console cover, which is really nice, like a metallic titanium finish. Um, just come back around here Yeah, this one's been taken care of really good, you know, as you can see in the paint Got the buddy clubs again Coming into the rear this one's this one's got an AP2 rear bar associated with the Again the Honda badge red type R one um this one doesn't have a spoiler, you know, they do have a spoiler which was optioned from Honda But they still look very nice without it Just coming over to the side. It's a really really nice car Have a nice little walk around This is the interior of the S2000 uh, We'll start off with the door trims. So it's got power mirrors over here uh, front obviously driver and passenger power windows lock button for the door lock button for the window just over here and here um, this is a this interior is off a red interior s2000 door trim um, so originally this one would have been black but must have been swapped out if you come over here you know you've got the engine start button the volume control mute change channel and changing station Got some vents, nice small leather steering wheel with stitching over here. Really, really good steering wheel. That digital cluster for the S2000s. Over here is the AC and air conditioning controls. You know, it's got the twin airbag over here. Same on that side with the lock and the power window control. You know, original floor mats. This is the AP2 music cover, which you just click and it comes down and then clicks back. The six speed titanium shifter with the lever boot. Um, this is the hazard lights roof button on and off. Um, it'll only work when your key is in the reds, which is one click before ignition and the handbrake has to be up. But there is a way to bypass it with some fuses. Um, there's a little pocket here for some space. These are the window, uh, sorry, these are the water jets for the headlights. And this button must be an option for another mode from factory. Moving over to the back. This is just like an armrest here. You have a 12 volt socket in here. Um, this is the first storage compartment, just in here. Got some stuff in there as you can see put that back and to open the next one you just click that and it opens and then there's some more space there um this is the button there to open up the boot it's locked into the first compartment so that's pretty much the interior of the honda s2000 what we got here is a f20c two liter naturally aspirated rear wheel drive motor yeah, so it's pretty much the S2000 engine. It's got the red cover, red rocker cover, 
what, what's good about these motors is you just got so much access over here. Um, the only downfall is it's got such a long nose, so it's very hard to work on it on your back. Um, you would attack it from the side if you were to work on it. Um, you can access the oil filter just there. You know, I can pretty much just touch it now. Um, this one looks very open here because it normally had a has a stock intake, which is taking over this whole area. But this is the AEM full quarter intake coming down. Yeah, so it's a pretty good motor considering um, in 1999 it was released. It was one of the most powerful rear-wheel drive two-liter NA at that time. Um, Ferrari bet it later on. So. That's pretty much the engine there. I'll give it a little bit of a rev. So that's it over here. Hey guys, it's MT Racing here. Just gonna do another video of my Honda S2000. And we're just gonna do a drive around and I will talk to you about it a bit more. Hit VTEC once or twice. Let's do this. You know the first thing you do is put your seatbelt and then hit VTEC. So we're just gonna go for a little drive. I'll talk about the vehicle a bit. Close ratio, um, you know, very racing um, style. You know, just first and second gear just get so quick up to the speed, um, especially with the VTEC motor. VTEC engages about 5,800 revs all the way to 9,000 to a red line. Um, so that's pretty much that with the VTEC and the shifter. Um, it's, see, I'm in sixth gear now. It's not the best car for highway use, but it's, it's, you can still daily this, you know? real nice and hard in this car. You know, so that's, that's the 
majority of the S2000, um, I really, really rate this car. Just, you know, convertible, Honda, the way it looks, the way it drives, the way it handles, the way it brakes, just everything's really good about it, you know. For a convertible at its age and its power, and what you're getting for what you're paying, um, I'll definitely give this thing a great rating, you know. And something to collect as well. These cars are only getting harder to find in, their, in the condition that they are, and also the value of these are going up. Um, yeah, it's just, just a magnificent car, and I really rate it. thousand that my friends let me borrow and do the review on so thanks a lot buddy for letting me do that and it's time to put it back Thanks for watching the video YouTube um, please if you like the video you know hit the like button and leave a comment um, and please subscribe tap the bell notification button to MT underscore racing I will see you next time on the next video review or my gaming video bye for now